If you guys were following us last week, we were standing right here and we said goodbye. Now, we are actually heading out to the sandy beach. We're gonna drive right out on the beach. It's gonna be super awesome. I'm a little bit apprehensive, but also very excited because if this works, it's gonna be a great place to boondock. Heck yeah, it's gonna be so amazing. Let's so, head to North Beach. Let's do it. get to the North Beach access actually says Bob Hall Pier Beach Route or something like that. So that's how you get here. for reals you guys like this is in our front yard right now to discover that the shells on this beach look like butterflies. They look like someone has placed them there intentionally. It's the cutest thing ever. Look at this. They make me want to make something cute and crafty like with the greeting card or something. I don't know. They're just irresistible. first get to Padre Island, one of the rumors you start hearing about is something called Little Shell Beach and Big Shell Beach. And supposedly, way down on South Beach, which they recommend you have a four-wheel drive because you're just driving out on the sand of the beach, I think it's like between 10 and 15 miles, there's this beach where only small shells wash up, and there's apparently a lot of them. And then farther down the beach, at like 20 or 25 miles is Big Shell Beach, where there's shells like your fist size and sometimes bigger. So I think we're gonna go find out if the rumor is true. And I'm making some sandwiches over here so we can have a little picnic on the beach while we're hunting for shells. I should probably also tell you that we know it's not just a rumor because we picked up our map at the visitor center and let me just show you. We're way up here at North Beach right now 
and we were at first at the Maliquit campground next to the visitor center. Now today we're going to go down here to South Beach and that's where the paved road ends and you can only drive out on the sand and they recommend four wheel drive. So down here, apparently they have mileposts every five miles. And between milepost 10 and 15 is Little Shell Beach. And between milepost 20 and a little past 25 is Big Shell Beach. So we're gonna go find out if it's actually true. Okay, I guess that's everything. We're on our way down to South Beach. Way down to South Beach. <laughs> Finding something? <laughs> That's too bad. <laughs> a piece of kelp. It's the kelp. <laughs> that looks fun. And your bike's on the beach. Yeah. You have one of those, you know. I know. You can have your scooter too. You can have all kinds of fun. At least we have our squishy alien along for the ride. This is really great when you get past where all the people are camping and there's no more fishermen on the beach. You can just get right down here onto the hard packed sand a little bit closer to the water. And it's kind of like driving on some whoop de doos Woo! Yep. Okay, mile 10, coming up. Okay, we're at mile post 10. We better check the map. Okay, we're stopping to check for shells. We're somewhere between milepost 10 and 15, which is exactly what is shown on the map. But from the car, we don't see we don't see anything. Hey, that's a broken piece of a sand dollar. Oh no. Maybe we'll have some luck finding sand dollars here. We are finding a few of those little butterfly shells in the sand here, but not as many as we're at North Beach. So we're going to get back in the car and go a little further, maybe all the way down to Big Shell Beach. There's a whole bunch of tents. People are camped out here. We're all the way down to the 15 mile marker. Okay, this seems more like Little Shell Beach, oh my gosh. This whole beach is littered with shells. They look like stones in the sand. There's so many. But they're all um, really old shells, like shells that have been broken and tumbled to where they're smooth and the ridges have already worn off. They look more like stones than shells. Look, they're actually quite pretty. We are driving at the water's edge, you guys. This is quite the adventure. But I'm still not seeing any large shells. No, not remotely. Now the fishing village. Sure, you get a little rust, but it's worth it. <laughs> you could just live down here, you know? Uh, you could. You could live down here indefinitely. No one would bother you. And you can fill your water and dump your black tanks for free the whole time you live here. Like, really, all you need is a little gas and food money, right? 
part gas money part-time job at the mini golf or whatever like i wonder how far the rangers come down here that's my question i bet you they drive the whole length like once a day <laughs> they probably do huh just to make sure nobody's stuck or in distress out here Dead. right no dead bodies have watched up on the shore Bad for Big body beach. <laughs> dead body beach. Big body beach and little body beach. <laughs> Gross. We're still on Big Shell Beach and it kind of seems like the currents here keep the shells in this one location for a long time and just keep churning them and churning them until they're worn down so smooth because all the shells littered on the beach down here are just broken pieces of really smooth shells. I just found a real, oh, where did it go? Oh my gosh, I just found a really black cool one. one. Yeah, where'd that black one go? I don't know what I saw, it just went away. Oh my God, it was so it cool. Did you see it? Oh my gosh, that's it. Look at, that's the coolest shell. That's the prettiest one I've seen here. I can't believe you found it after <laughs> it got swept away. That's crazy. this broken shell beach, not big shell beach. Here's my broken bits of shells I found on this beach. And only one piece of sea glass, clear. But these ones are kind of cool because they have a hole in the top and you can make it into a pendant or something cool, right? So it's pretty much time for us to be leaving now. Yeah. And uh, we've been passed by multiple vehicles leaving the beach, so probably should listen to the locals. Yeah, I think my time's coming in. We're this close to the water coming up to the car, you guys. It's crazy driving on the beach like this. All your life, if you've ever gone to public beaches, you're never allowed to drive on the beach. You always have to park in a parking lot. So this is just crazy to be driving right next to the water like this. Yeah. 
This is really cool though. In some places there's patches where there's nothing but millions of shells on the beach. Look. shell beach and there are actually little shells that are different than the butterfly shells. There's more of these cool black ones and then I found one of these little skinny pointed ones. I don't know what they're called. I think I want to stop and look for little shells for a minute. Okay. I've decided that little shell beach is very accurately named. Look what I found so far. They're pretty cute. I mean, there's some of the butterfly shells, but some completely different shells too. I just found a really strange shell. It's broken, but it's so pretty on the inside. This is the only one we've found like this. I wish it was whole. I don't know what it was. I know, it's really like oh, delicate. Yeah, see. Yeah. Well, see, it's a strange little shell. Pretty. Yeah. All right, we found the little secret four-wheel drive trail, the Yarborough Pass or something like that. So we're going to take it. This goes across to the other side of the island. The lagoon side, Laguna Madre. Oh my gosh, this is total four-wheel drive trail, you guys. This is deep, soft sand. Yeah, we're climbing. Holy crap, this is a little bit scary. <laughs> Oh turned into a two track now. Okay, this is a little better. Huh. Oh, a fish just jumped in the water out there. Holy smokes. Man, the lagoon side is so calm. Look at the water, it's like a lake. What do you think, does it make you want to kayak? It does make me want to kayak. <laughs> yeah, there's people out there, it looks, it looks like they're standing up paddleboarding or else they're just standing on and fishing. Very possible. Here's getting back to the four wheel drive portion of the trail. <laughs> yeah, really oh is. my gosh. <laughs> not a very long portion of the trail, but it's a pretty scary one. Yeah. It is very You're gonna get stuck. This is that place. For sure. <laughs> well, that was a fun little side adventure. Right. It's kind of a neat little place to go, too. Yeah, very private. Uh-huh. journey down the beach. How, what, how far did we go? Um, we put about 50 miles in the sand today. So we went 25 miles down the shoreline. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it was very cool. And we're back on our home beach. That's right. It's time to drag the kayak out. Come on, Dan. We're going kayaking. This beach has an excellent chill factor. Why ruin it with a bunch of adrenaline? <laughs> <laughs> He's taking the kayak out in the crazy side of the ocean. I bet Dana 50 rubbles that he would capsize immediately. Rubbles is our new form of currency. I'll explain later.
impressed or disappointed? <laughs> Can you believe it? I, got, I owe you 50 rubbles. <laughs> I don't even understand. <laughs> I don't know how he's managed this. <laughs> Let him go. He's still going, you guys. Those waves are huge. I know. I thought for sure he was going to capsize. Man, <laughs> unbelievable. I just lost 50 rubles. <laughs> Dana was like, she's meaning rubles, obviously. She's all, what are rubles anyway? I'm just picturing them being like large gems <laughs> that you would just like th dump out of a pouch onto the table. <laughs> That's our new betting currency. Oh, did you see that one? Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> it, like, just crashed right onto him. Oh, my God. I bet his hair's wet now. <laughs> oh, man, our fearless adventurer has already returned. How was it, my hose? It's fun. It's fun. Was it's it harder fun? to surf. I capsized a couple times surfing. You capsized and I missed it? Oh yeah, big. Dang it! I was trying to catch it on film. I was trying to keep the boat from turning sideways, but I couldn't. Oh man. As soon as it turned sideways, splash. It's a little too rough out there. And then I had to swim back to the boat. Oh my gosh. I have a new mission. Well, actually, another mission. I'm still looking for a whole perfect sand dollar, but I came up here to reference the Padre Island seashell pamphlet, and look what's on the back. <laughs> it's like a bingo card of seashells, so my new mission is to find as many of these seashells as I can on the beach. So, the tide has gone out, we're looking for what might be deposited and we're going to head down south past those um, posts that are barricading the beach um, to where people can't drive because then nobody else has looked at the shells there yet. So that's our mission. I've enlisted the help of my daughter. So four eyes are better than two. We're going to see what we can find.
guys have noticed, but we seem to have this recurring theme in our bus life where we don't have a problem picking up the camera and filming whatever we're doing in the morning and during the day, but then later in the afternoon and evening, I guess we just get busy with what we're doing, like I'm starting to make dinner and stuff, and nobody remembers to pick up the camera, so we kind of never finish filming what we were filming sometimes. So, I wanted to show you how we did on our seashell bingo chart yesterday. We didn't find a lot, but we found a few. Here's what I just picked up yesterday. A ton of these little butterflies. Aren't they so precious? I love the patterns. My favorite ones are these where it looks like it's almost like a plaid pattern on their wings. And oddly enough, those little butterflies don't seem to be on this little seashell chart. So I'm not really sure what they are. But we did find a southern claw hog, which is that one, an Atlantic Bay scallop, which is that one. I thought we had one of these calico scallops at first, but it turns out this is the giant Atlantic cockle. I'm reading all these down here at the bottom, you guys. That's how I know what they are. <laughs> and I haven't been able to find a whole sand dollar. All I can find is a half, so I'm still on that mission. And we found this giant sawtoothed pin shell over at, I think it was on Big Shell Beach, which is that one. I actually found one of these, which is called a lettered olive but it still had its creature living inside it, so I had to throw it back, and I didn't have the camera with me at the time, so I'm still looking for another one of those. So that's five out of 20 on the bingo card. It's a good start, but I still have some work to do. I thought I would just be out there in my bikini collecting shells again this morning, but it turns out to be a little bit cloudy and gray and chilly this morning. So, I mean, it is late November, so I can't be really surprised that every day isn't a perfectly sunny, warm day, but man, you really enjoy those ones that are. It's amazing to be out there in the warmth at this time of year. And I think we're planning on moving the bus today. We need to fill with water. We'll probably just go ahead and drive up there and dump while we're at it and move the bus to a new location. We haven't camped on the lagoon side of the island yet, which is called Bird Basin something. I can't remember. Bird Island Basin. Bird Island Basin, there it is. <laughs> so, um, I think I am going to put on some warm clothes and go out and look for shells one more time on this beach because the tide, the low tide is at 945 this morning and the sun is peeking through the clouds now. So I'll see if I can find any more shells from a bingo card and um, then we'll probably be moving on to a new location and a new adventure. bag and my coffee. I'm ready to go out in the cold. Like it's snowing. <laughs> it's chilly. I, we don't know the temperature though because our darn thermometer is dead or Something's we don't know what's wrong, wrong with yeah. it but we're getting our indoor temperature but not our outdoor temperature so we don't know. So I'm gonna go see what I can find this morning on my bingo card. Sandy. That isn't snow, that's sand drifts. Or sand flurries maybe? I don't know what they're called. Kind of mesmerizing really. Well you guys, that's about it for our time here at North Beach on Padre Island. We're actually getting ready to leave and go to the lagoon side, but first uh, we're gonna go and clean this bus off and clean all the salt off. In the next episode, we'll actually talk about the downsides of being on the beach and uh, some of the things to look out for and, uh, 
and some of the things, some of the maintenance you're going to have to do daily and probably Rest weekly specifically to uh, to make sure that your bus can survive something like this because right. it's not as easy as it looks to park on a beach. So. Uh, We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for following along. We love having you guys. Yeah. Love reading your comments. Give us a thumbs up if you like our adventures these days. And uh, hit that subscribe button to follow us along to get uh, and hit that little bell to get notified that we're right. uh, putting a video out. We usually post on Thursdays. So check will... out our Patreon That's and right. check out our Etsy because uh, it's that shopping time of year. You can always pick up a Bussy McBus face t-shirt. That's right. Or a sticker. <laughs> right? <laughs> Stocking stuffer. That's right. And don't forget to check out the new channel. Uh, ham radios for nerds uh, where I do all my ham radio stuff that way yeah. we don't put it on this channel and we'll see you guys next week thanks guys bye, bye, -bye. Guys.